Once your notes are ready to go, you can start writing your first draft. Before you start writing, let's remind ourselves what a research report looks like. This research report has different parts, a title, who it's by, then it has one paragraph. This is the introduction paragraph, which you'll write later. It has two middle paragraphs. These are the paragraphs that tell the facts you learned about your animal. There's two of them in this one. And then there's the last paragraph. This is a conclusion paragraph that you'll write later. Today, you're going to work on writing your two middle paragraphs. To start making your draft, get a piece of ice cream paper and write the words middle draft up top. That tells you that this is going to be the draft of your middle of your research paper. Also, don't forget to write your name up top as well. Then you'll need to look back at your notes page. You won't write about every single note you took in your final research paper. You're only going to choose two categories to write about. Look at yours and think about what two categories you want to write about. Make sure you have at least two, if not three, good facts for the category you choose. I'm going to decide to write about their appearance or what they look like, so I'll circle that so I know I'm going to focus on those facts, and their habitat or where they live. So I'll also circle that so I know to focus on those facts. And, and I'd like to use this one to do first. So I'm going to reread what my facts are. For the appearance of what they look like, like I know tree squirrels have big bushy tails and sharp claws. I know ground squirrels have strong legs to dig with. And I know flying squirrels have skin folds to glide. Choose which category you want to start with and reread your facts. Now that I've reread my facts, I'm going to make the first sentence of my middle paragraph. The first sentence tells the reader what the paragraph's going to be about. My paragraph is going to be all about how there are one, two, three three different types of squirrels. So I'm going to write right here on my draft paper this sentence that I thought of. There are three different types of squirrels. Now take a look at your first choice of what your first part is going to be about. Read your facts and decide what your first sentence should say. Pause the video and write your first sentence on your ice cream paper. Once you are done writing your first sentence, then you can go on and do the next sentences. For the next sentences, you're going to actually write the facts you chose to write about. You don't have to write about every single fact, but you can if you have enough space. Since I only have three different types of squirrels, I'm going to write about every single kind. I didn't write in sentences when I started taking my notes, but now I'm going to write in sentences. My first note is about how tree squirrels have big bushy tails and sharp claws. So I'll write that in a sentence. Take a look at your first fact and then write a complete sentence with a capital and a period on your draft paper. After you've done that, you can start with your second fact. My second fact is about ground squirrels and their legs. I'm going to turn this into a sentence and write it on my draft paper. Here's my sentence. It says ground squirrels have strong legs that they use to dig. Now I'll turn my last fact into a sentence. 
The sentence, the fact said, flying squirrels have skin folds that they use to glide. See that that sentence is right here in my draft. Now that I've written my one sentence that introduces my topic and my sentences that tell my facts, I'm ready to go on to the next paragraph. Take your work and look at the second category you circled. Skip a line and write an introduction sentence on the next line. For my next category, since it's about where squirrels live and my facts tell all different places, I'll write, squirrels live in lots of different places. Then I'll pick the facts I want to write about and write a sentence about each of those facts on the lines that follow. When you've written, when you've skipped a line and you've written your sentence and your facts below, then you're ready to go on to the next step. Move your clip and start the next step.